Bishop Robert McManus is apologizing for a weekend drunk driving arrest. The 61-year-old was in Narragansett, Rhode Island, when investigators say he hit a car on Boston Neck Road and kept on going. The other driver followed the bishop and then called police. As Michael Rosenfield shows us, officers say the bishop refused a breathalyzer test. Bishop Robert McManus today admitting he made a mistake after drinking at dinner. He's accused of driving drunk, then getting into a hit and run. At St. Paul's Cathedral in Worcester, parishioners seem ready to forgive after learning about the drunk driving incident involving their bishop. We're all human beings and we're all fallible to making errors or misjudgment and calls. That's why we go to church and pray for God's assistance. Police in Narragansett, Rhode Island, say Bishop Robert McManus, the bishop of the Worcester Diocese, was involved in a hit and run Saturday night. The other driver called 911 and followed the bishop until police arrived. Well, I'm disturbed and unhappy. I'm sorry that the bishop has run into these difficulties. But in these days in our Catholic Church, we just continue on. The bishop releasing a statement saying, in part, I made a terrible error in judgment by driving after having consumed alcohol with dinner. I ask forgiveness from the good people whom I serve, as well as my family and friends in the Diocese of Worcester and the Diocese of Providence. Father John Madden of St. John's says he still supports the bishop. He's a great man. He's a terrific priest. He's a priest that all of us would like to be. Um, and he made a mistake, and, and none of us can hold that against him. We've all made mistakes. At the bishop's residence, his housekeeper said the bishop has tremendous respect for the diocese. I'd like people to know that they have a fine, caring bishop who loves his diocese, cares for his people and his flock, and um, it's, it's a pleasure for me to call him my boss and my friend. State records show that until now, the bishop had a clean driving record. He's due in court in Rhode Island tomorrow. In Worcester, Michael Rosenfield, WBZ News.